Hey everyone, I uh, decided to make a new firearm video. I keep uh, posting videos about lights, but I haven't really made a video about uh, some of the firearms that I have. Um, this one is a uh, how to pistol. Uh, if you don't know what that is, it's basically a uh, sawed off shotgun, sawed off black powder shotgun. Um, they call it a pistol because it has a pistol grip and not a uh, rifle. Um, you know, stock. Uh, it's a 12 inch barrel. It's a 20 gauge or a 60 caliber. Um, the how to pistols basically, how to is the um, the little cages or carriages that um, you know you would ride on elephants in India. And the reason why this was invented was because the rifle was just too long or the musket or whatever that they used. And uh, this was a much better choice if a, uh, a leopard or something like that would try to jump up the lion and attack you. So you could just pull this out and pull both triggers or pull one trigger and hopefully it'll do something to the uh, animal. So um, they come in various calibers, uh, 20 gauge and I think they come in larger sizes too. I'm not exactly sure, but uh, this one's big enough for me. I mean, 20 gauge is... 60 calibers is pretty big, especially if you're using round balls. Um, and that's what I shoot out of it, is uh, 570 round balls, because that's the one you can find for Hornady pretty much everywhere. And I just use um, a .15 patch, or I'll use two .10 patches uh, to make up the size difference. So um, it's smooth bore, so it's unloaded, of course. I haven't really shot this gun that much. Um, Smooth bore, 20 gauge. Um, mine has the uh, the ramrod that's attached to the gun. Uh, this is the updated version. The uh, if I can get this stupid thing out. Ugh, let me put my phone down real quick. The um, sorry about that. The ramrod on this is attached to the gun, uh, and it has like a little swivel attachment. And uh, like I said, this is the newer version. The older version actually has a ramrod that you pull out, like a little stick, um, you know, like a typical uh, flintlock or, you know, Hawkins rifle or something would come with. And the reason why this one is the updated version is, uh, and the other ones are, uh, uh, the reason why they updated it was because the problem is people were loading... Um, like birdshot or buckshot or whatever you want to load in here and uh, the birdshot was actually falling into the uh, the hand stock or the little hand grip right here and it was actually messing with the mechanism for the triggers so they decided to uh, put this one on instead um, something about it stops the balls the little lead balls from going too far in or something like that so when you pull the ramrod out it pulls them out with it so um, but uh, let me put this back in there but yeah, it's uh, a really beautiful gun. Um, I bought this. I had to drive. I live in Virginia, so I had to drive all the way up to Pennsylvania to get this thing. Um, you can see the engravings on here. It's like a wild boar on this side. And uh, on the other side, you got, I believe you got a leopard. You got a leopard on this side. Really pretty. You can see some of the uh, the proof marks on there. Italian proof marks for black powder and 20 gauge and the year that it was made. It's a Petersoli. I don't know why it says uh, 20 gauge and then caliber is 20. Um, Maybe the Italians, their calibers are the same as their gauges for the Americans. I don't know. I don't know how that works, but it's not 20 caliber. It's 60 caliber and 20 gauge. So it's a little confusing. Uh, there's the pin to take it out. It's very easy to take this gun apart. Um, you don't have to unscrew anything on the top. Nothing, nothing of the sort. You literally just pop that pin out. The both barrels come out. And you take a Q-tip and clean the uh, the trigger, the ears right here. You just clean on the inside, clean the nipples, 
Um, it takes like five minutes to clean this gun. So, it's pretty heavy. My phone will focus. And, uh... It's got pretty good triggers, pretty pretty strong trigger springs. Um, normally, I wouldn't dry fire a gun, but you know, I'll dry fire this. It's not gonna hurt it. But yeah, it's a pretty pretty awesome gun. Um, I don't hold it with one hand. I will hold it with two, but um, you could hold it with one hand if you want. So um, surprisingly, for a smooth bore, it's uh, pretty accurate, uh, up to seven to fifteen yards. Um, I can actually get better groupings with this gun than I can, or sorry, than, than I see with, you know, people who come to the shooting range who don't go often, you know, people who are just there to shoot and think that they're doing a great, uh, great job, you know, hitting the paper, but, uh, this thing I can get good groupings with, so, like I said, I shoot, uh, 570 round bowls, um, I have tried, uh, birdshot in here, um, I can't really find any lead birdshot anywhere, so I just take some of the uh, the federal uh, shotgun ammo that you know is really dirt cheap because uh, I I buy them by the bricks, so I get like a hundred rounds for like twenty bucks or whatever. So I just take the birdshot out of those and use it for this thing, and um, I can't really find the wads anywhere. Uh, like say Hickok forty five, he has these little cardboard or uh, um, uh, uh, cork, like, um, pads or whatever that he uses, so what I do is I actually take, um, I don't have any on me, but maybe I have some over here, so I take some of these little styrofoam-like things right here, and I take some sockets, because I work on cars, and I actually take a, uh, I can't remember the size of the socket, but I believe it's a 15 millimeter, um, not 100% positive. But uh, yeah, I take a socket wrench, or sorry, a socket and a hammer, and I actually punch out my own uh, little uh, wads or uh, little cushions, and that's what I use to hold the uh, pellets and stuff. Or uh, sorry, the um, the birdshot. So again, with this thing, you can use birdshot, you can use buckshot, you can use round balls. It really doesn't matter. Um, as far as the powder charge, um, I've done like 15 grains, and that's definitely not enough. I've done 30 grains. That's okay. But uh, normally I shoot this thing with 60. Um, 60 seems to be good. I haven't noticed any damage or anything on the gun. Um, try to keep my guns very clean and in good condition. The only thing I hate about Pedersoli uh, wood stocks is they, they coat them with some kind of like like a wax plastic coating so when you do damage the gun stock you'll see like this white uh, plastic coating it like starts to peel off of the stock I know they do that to protect the wood from like oils and stuff like that but I wish Pedersoli would stop doing that because when you do damage the stock and you are gonna damage the wood eventually it looks horrible so just a note with Pedersoli guns so I hope you guys liked the video um, of the how to pistol if you want I could make a video of me shooting it um, let me know what you guys think do you want to see a video of me shooting a how to pistol um, or not any other questions uh, just just let me know um, and I will be posting another video of another uh, pistol that I have so look out for that one